Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Swagtron Swag Cycle EB5 Pro. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on it, so I thought I'd kind of give you guys my two cents, just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. Should mention too, real quick, um, I actually found a pretty good deal on this little e-bike, and I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. Okay, so the EB5 Pro. Um, first, don't let the weird name Swagtron kind of put you off. They actually make very good uh, e-bikes and e-scooters, um, and this one's kind of no exception. I was actually really impressed with the build quality of it. It's very solidly built, um, even compared to some of the other e-bikes I've used. It doesn't feel like it's made cheaply or anything like that. It feels very solid and very well made. Um, there are a few things to know about this. One, it is a folding uh, e-bike, which is really nice because it's compact enough already, but when you fold it up, you can easily put it in the back of a trunk. You could probably fit two or three of these in the back of a trunk, uh, so you could take them for the whole family, go up to a park, go for a ride, something like that. Uh, and that's another nice thing about this, too, is... Kind of the most important thing about any e-bike is its motor and its battery. Those are kind of the two main expensive things. Um, the motor with this one is 250 watt, which is perfect for its size. Honestly, anything bigger than that would be a little freaky to drive on. Um, it is compact in size, but just to give you an idea, I'm a big guy. Uh, I'm six foot five, 230 pounds, and I don't feel like I'm too big for this unit. In other words, it's not really just made for kids. In fact, I would actually say that this is not made for children. Um, I wouldn't want my kids really riding this until they were well into their teens just because of how fast this thing goes. Um, but that's up to everybody, you know, their own thing. But it will go um, about 15 to 20 miles on a charge. And that's if you're just... Uh, using the throttle alone. That's if you're not pedaling whatsoever. If you're pedaling um, anywhere from 30 to 35 miles on a single charge, the charge time takes about four and a half hours. And the top speed tops out. It's limited to 15 miles per hour, which may not sound like a lot, but it certainly is a lot. Um, if you have never gone that fast on a bike before, you'll be surprised how fast 15 miles an hour is. You feel like you are flying on this thing, um, surprisingly. Because you kind of think, well, 20 miles an hour in a car does not feel that fast at all. But when you're on a bike, it does feel a lot faster. Um, in fact, I don't know if I'd feel much comfortable going faster than 15 miles an hour on a bike um, like this. So. Fairly lightweight for its size. It's about 35 pounds. But I like the idea that um, you can pedal it too. Um, I'd seen some other ones that are basically very similar, but they don't actually have a chain and pedals so that you actually pedal it. Um, it's nice in case you're getting low on battery. You can still pedal it back to wherever you want to go. It rides just like a normal bicycle. Um, the brakes, while nothing fancy, they actually work really good. They stop you really fast. They are V-brakes. There's no disc brakes on this, but to be honest with you, you really don't need them. Um, they'll stop you very, very quickly, uh, so no complaints there. But yeah, it's really fun. Easy to use, easy to charge, goes fast, goes for a long range. Really, for the price, what more could you ask for? Um, really happy with it, and I highly recommend it. Anyway, if you guys have any more questions about it, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.